So as I start off most of my face paints, I'm going to use a white and I'm just going to outline all the features that are on the face that are going to be included like the nose, the mouth, the eyes and the general shape of the face. I'm just filling in the eyes with a white just because it means that when I put colour on the colour will pop a bit more. So with a black I'm just sponging that all over my face leaving the eye spaces out. And then I'm using a yellow face paint just to paint in the colour of the eyes but I'm imagining them as the actual full circle of doing it not just the bit that I'm actually painting so I can get the shape as realistic as possible. Then to make the eye seem a little bit more realistic, I'm adding another colour in to add more depth. And then in the inner corner, I'm just using a brown to finish off the cat eye shape. And then I'm going to get a black and outline the whole eye very, very finely. And I'm just going to add a bit more depth on the inner corner with a little bit of random texture. And I'm going to add a waterline just by placing another black line below the line that I've already done. Adding in the pupil. And then on top of the eye, to create a shadow, I want to include lots and lots of little eyelashes. So I'm using a really thin brush for this and just using lots of little strokes. Then just to add a little bit of highlights in the inner corner and on the waterline. And then pow, the other eye's done. <laughs> just adding in another little twinkle into the eye and along the edge of the eye as well. And just adding some more highlights with the thin brush strokes on the eyelashes, just so they show up a little bit more that it is hairs. Going in with the nose with a grey and just creating the shape of it and then getting a lighter grey just to add more texture and highlights to the nose. And then I'm getting a white and really stippling this on everywhere just to show the short hairs and to create the shape of the broadness of the nose as well. And I'm going to keep patting that and keep patting that just so it gets the right texture. Then with the black I'm going to outline the nose and give all the little bits of details but I'm going to smudge it as well just so it doesn't look too harsh and cartoony like adding in a few bits of highlights with a white and then adding in lots of little dots like all the little pores you get on on an animal's nose just so it looks that little bit more realistic and then with a white and stippling it all on again I'm just going to brush on some hair like strokes just so you can sort of define the mouth the the cheeks and the shape of the face a tiny bit more and then dotting in where the whiskers would go and adding in lots and lots of little whiskers everywhere and it also on top of the eye as well then I changed how I wanted the nose to look I wanted it to be a bit wider so I just did the same effect but widening the nose instead and then I wanted the actual nostrils wider so I just used a white and just created them a little bit wider adding a few more final touches and then that is it this is actually a lot harder to do than I thought it would be I'm still not entirely happy with it because I feel like it's all a bit disproportionate disproportionate that is a word isn't it that is well done Sam but I think I will stop here because I keep trying to adjust it and it's not really doing much for it. So this is the final look of the panther. Anyway, I will be doing a another big cat um, makeup because when I first ever started doing stuff like this, I did a clouded leopard because they are my favourite big cats. Um, I did that back in the day where I didn't even have face paint. I did it all with makeup, just eyeshadows. I think I might have used eyeliner, I'm not sure. But I will do another Clouded Leopard just so it will be like a, this is what I did back then, this is what I can do now. And um, just to show that the more you do something, you do improve. As long as you like doing it, do it keep getting better, just improve. I kind of did this one as like a practice for it and I think it has helped me and it will help me when I come to do the Clouded Leopard as well. So fingers crossed when I come to do that. Uh, it will be all right and not as um, soft looking. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and like if you like and subscribe if you like and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>